All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna start working on this guy again. So last video, we took off the valve cover. Uh, we took off the clutch, uh, what do they call this? I, I think I, I call it PTO housing on a jet ski. But, um, so we got this uncovered. The clutch, I can't really tell. It, they do look really worn down. So I can't tell until I take it off. So probably what we'll be doing is taking this off today. Um, also, we're also gonna be trying to get the head off today, at least, or at least just trying to get these off before I have to go. So right now, what we have, we have this set at um, top dead center. This dot is aligned with this edge here, and this dot over here is about three degrees pointing up. So we put things in top dead center so it's easier to put things back together, so that we can at least make sure that the engine is still in timing and we don't have any type of valve piston error or you know timing issue. So what we're gonna start with, we're probably gonna start off with taking the clutches off and we're figure out how these clutches look. So we'll start with that. All right guys, so we got the clutch plates off. Now I really don't know what a bad um, quad clutch looks like. Now to me, looking at this clutch here, I see it looks like there's heat build up on this, so this was getting really hot. I know on a car, on the, on the flywheel, and the clutches themselves, when you start seeing these heat marks, it means that the clutch is wearing down, it's it's um, slipping a lot. Um, looking at this, this, the actual clutch here, it looks like she's getting low down there. Um, so, looking at these red marks, I don't know if that's just the oil stain. I know sometimes oil changes the color and stuff. Um, but it looks like it's getting low down to there. It looks like it's meeting down to this metal on this. So, I'm not going to say it is bad, but I'm going to say that's maybe close to getting bad. Like I said, I'm not an expert on these clutches at all. I don't know how thick these are supposed to be, but I get, whenever I get the new ones in, I guess we'll figure that out. So if you guys don't know how a mo um, a clutch works, or just how a, mo a motorcycle slash quad clutch works, is you have... This is the this is the clutch assembly right here. You have you have this plate. You have a friction plate here, and it alternates with a, a this metal disc right here. Now what happens is these clutch plates connect like this. They go on the outer wheel, and then these metal plates connect to the inner wheel. And what I mean inner wheel here is oh, let me get this in. So the inner the inner the metal plates spin with the inner wheel. The clutch plates spin with the outer wheel. The outer wheel is connected to the crankshaft, which is where the piston moves up and down and spins this thing right here, which and turns this whole thing here. The center piece here is connected to the transmission. So if I would have put this into first gear, which I really don't feel like doing it because I'll pick up the whole engine just to put it back into neutral. But right now we're in neutral, so this is spinning, but this is not. So if I would put in the first gear, this would get this would start getting tighter and it will spin the back of here. So what happens is you have this thing here. This put, pulls the clutches off of the um, the metal plates, releases the pressure. So this pulls up all the clutches. They start to release pressure. They get loose like this. And then what happens then? Is that when you start letting the, let the clutch go, is this starts pushing in like this, and then these start to become one. So this will start spinning with this. So you have all you have these metal plates and these friction pads combined together to create a solid drive, basically. So when you have the clutch, when you pull the clutch lever in, you have this piece here that pulls, basically pulls this guy here. You have this guy here that will pull this way. You have the springs over there pushing this thing in, and you have the screws holding the springs to push this in. So when you pull this, it pulls this out, releasing the pressure between the metal plates and the friction plates, which will cause them to kind of basically go like this. So when you pull the clutch handle, this will pull up, it'll pull just a little back, and then release, but as soon as you put the clutch pad in, these will smash back together, and basically start to create one solid drive. All right. So now we got the clutches off. Like I said, that 
that looks good. I'm not going to be taking off um, this whole thing here. This actually looks in decent shape. It doesn't look like it was worn down or anything. Um, this looks fine here, so this won't need replacing. The bearing feels okay in there, so that should everything else should be uh, everything else should be good here.